So it's pretty darn close to flush, but not exactly because it can rock back and forth. Just a little bit. And then the, uh, the buzzer, the, uh, <clears throat> the buzzer leads were wider and actually, no, they were narrow order than the width of the whole pattern in the board. So I had to um, bend the buzzer leads out and like that, like a hook, instead of straight down, I had to do something like that, and push it in. Of course, when it got up close where the uh, the angle of the lead was splayed out, it, 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 it couldn't push in any further. So that's the max I get the buzzer in for this particular board. So it's apparently there's a little variation in the, uh, the buzzer uh, manufacturer's width. Um, so my solution was just uh, to solder the things in the, the best I could and uh, um, I'll, I'll put a little dab of hot glue on either side of the buzzer to keep it from vibrating and I also on either side of the, uh, the uh, capacitor to keep it from, from, from uh, any potential for vibration thus causing you know fatigue failure of the, uh, the leads.